Meow, do you know how fast you were going? <laughs> meow, what is so damn funny? Could have sworn you said meow. Do I look like a loath cat to you, boy? <laughs> Am I jumping around all mimbin' bimbin' from tree to tree? No. <laughs> Am I drinking blue milk from a saucer? <laughs> no. Well, do you see me eating womp rats? <laughs> Sewer troopers. How you shooting today, Thorn? Top of my class all morning. How about that little fella? Oh, that little guy? I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Good enough for me. You're my man now. Sewer troopers. Evil shenanigans. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Hasbro Black Series and Bandai SH Figure Arts Mimbin Stormtrooper. First of all, I got this from Amazon Japan. I, they didn't do this with the Obi-Wan or the Ben Kenobi, but they did it to this. They just stuck a big sticker. So if you're a, a, a carded collector or you keep them in the box or whatever, uh, be aware of that if you're going to order from Amazon Japan. But it peels right off. Uh, not really any residue except where I scratched right there, but I don't care. I'm going to be opening this thing and tossing the package. But I received these both at the, well, essentially the same time. I was gone for two weeks. The Black Series Mimbin Stormtrooper came in from eBay. That's where I got it. I didn't actually find this at Walmart, even though it is exclusive there. And then the SH Figure Arts version released last week at the same time as Ben, whenever that was. And like I said, I got it off Amazon Japan. I've been testing the waters there. I haven't quite cracked the code there yet. Uh, if it says ships from Amazon Japan, some figures ship for like 500 yen or some low low price but it's actually shipped DHL but sometimes when it's from Amazon Japan I put it in the cart go to check shipping and it's like $50 for the same thing so I don't know what is allowed to ship to the US and what isn't I'm still working on that but looking at the packages both it's your standard packaging for both Black Series and SH Figure Arts, although the background here isn't red. It's kind of a grayish, brownish, muddish color. I kind of like it. It, it. I like the change. And then on the Figure Arts box, it's the silver for the original trilogy, but they added kind of a yellow tint here, the Solo logo, and then a yellowish background. On the end, that same grayish, brownish color pretty picture over here. Like I said, I got this off eBay, so that's the reason for this sticker right here, but you get the bio for the Mimbin Stormtrooper, you get the pretty promotional shots, you get the, a lot of warnings in a lot of languages right here. And then the unreadables probably says something like, you've been spending years weathering your troopers, playing with them in the dirt, in the mud, and this time around we did it for you. On the end, the usual Black Series enlarged font, Stormtrooper silver motif over here. On top of the trooper, absolutely nothing like my wallet for ordering this off eBay. Star Wars logo over here. Bottom, more legalese, unreadables, warnings, your winning lottery numbers. But I'm going to get these out of the package, compare the two, and see what is going on here. Okay, with the figure arts figure, we get some instructions as usual. You have the extra hands and, uh, hmm, decide which gun to put in hand, place in hand. I got it. Okay, cool. And there we go, all out of their respective boxes. And I have to say, I ended up liking one more than the other, but as I played, the more I liked the one I liked less, more than the one I liked more. Did that make sense? I don't know. Battle of the Mimbins commence! Looking at the Star Wars Black Series figure, this body is reused from the original Stormtrooper. I thought maybe they went with a different ab sculpt. I thought maybe they went with the Sand Trooper look, but nope, as far as I can tell, all the sculpt, all the articulation, everything is the same as that first trooper. But saying all that, this is my second favorite Stormtrooper anyway, so it kind of works out in my favor. My favorite favorite is the model kit, but the sculpt and everything on the Black Series figure is passable. It's nice. And the articulation is actually better than some of the later figures. I don't know how that works out. And when I get to the comparison, I'm going to talk about the paints more, but right now, uh, it's a nice mud flavor. Why was I going to go with flavor? Down at the bottom, it's really super dirty, and then at the top, it looks kind of like it's been splashed up. It's not like he's been making mud angels or anything. And then get up to the head, this is not reuse. They may have taken the same sculpt and added to it, but this is essentially a Stormtrooper helmet, but it's got a bigger forehead, a bigger visor up above the eyes. And that's the biggest difference between Classic and this Trooper. It's not a huge difference. You almost have to turn the figure sideways to actually see it, but once you see it, it's kind of that Scarif look, which is a nice little thing that ties the Troopers all together from one end to the other. But then the SH Figure Arts figure, I don't have any comparison here. I don't have any of the old Troopers. 
I remember seeing the proto shots and reviews and uh, the original Stormtrooper was kind of small so I never got it. But from what I've heard the Rogue One Trooper was a little bit larger, a little bit better, but I still never got it. I just haven't found a good price on it. Here I'm pretty sure this is reusing that new Rogue One sculpt. Again all the details are sharp, nice, but the proportions seem a little bit off. The torso a little bit short, the legs a little bit long, very very crotchy. But get up to the head here and I like this much better than the Black Series figure. It's almost a little stylized. I feel like they went a little bit bigger with the eye lenses. The mouth is a little bit longer, but it still has that Scarif type shore trooper tank driver thing up on the forehead. But it seems a little bit sharper. I don't know if it's because of the paint apps here, the, the dirtiness. Not really mud, more like ground metal, but it's still a nice looking sculpt. Now we're going to give this a shot. The original Stormtrooper does have a problem in the ankles. The detents down here, they don't really line up in a neutral position to stand straight up. There's the detent there and then the next detent is right here. It's loosened up as I've messed with it. I've just been sitting here crank 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 trying to loosen it up a bit and it is working but this one you can see boom right there boom right there a little bit too far. If you take it <laughs> some people think I set it up like this that I go oh it's not gonna stand up but then it stands up I yeah my figures are divas on camera like I said I've been loosening that joint up right out of the package super tight but you can see the head a little bit loose but if you're posing on the shelf in a diorama ACBA I it does stay in position for the most part then of course there's a the cloth cape I do like this better it's tied on it goes through the cape around this shoulder, across, around this shoulder, and then back up into the cape. And it's tied right there. I thought about taking it off to see what was going on, but I don't want to tie that again. So, <laughs> imagine it off. And I thought this would be a hood right here, but it's not. It's just an extra piece. Count Stormtrooper! On the other hand, this comes with just a kind of a hard plastic piece. It's not hard, okay? It's got some flex to it, but it's not moving out of the way if you're, you know, putting it somewhere. And that's held on by the same material just hooping around and glued into the back. Like I said, the figure is very crotchy. Just, I mean, look at that thing. But the hips are something I haven't seen on SH Figure Arts yet. And if it's on the Rogue One Trooper, I apologize. I don't have that one. Instead of the hip joint itself coming down, it slides out of the thigh piece. You kind of see it gap right there in the armor. Push it up, push it back. So it kind of works with not gapping it right here but it ends up gapping it right down there. On top of that, once you get it pulled out, it it's a little bit loose. It kind of wobbles around on that joint. This one's a little bit tighter, not as wobbly, and it stays up in there. If you try to stand it up, the right one likes to slide back in. Articulation-wise, on the two, though, my biggest gripe about the Black Series is the hip. It doesn't come up unless you turn the leg. Then if you bend the knee, he's kind of cross-legged. But he has double elbow and it comes up to right there. Figure Arts figure though, because of the drop down, the leg comes straight forward. But even though there is a double joint at the elbow, you can kind of see the top of it right there. It doesn't really do anything up in there. So you get a little past 90. Articulation on the Black Series figure, there's a ball joint up in the head going down to a hinge in the neck. You have shift forward and back, goes down, looks up, tilt, tilt, swivel. Shoulder bell gets in the way of the hinge and swivel in the shoulder so it only comes up to about right there. But it does swivel all the way around. Swivel at the bicep. Double elbow comes up past 90. Ball joint in the torso. Forward, back, tilt, swivel. Talked about the hip. Goes up to about right there as you turn the thigh. Back, out to about right there. Swivel at the thigh. Double knee. He can almost kick his own ass. Hinge at the ankle. Goes back. Goes forward. And then forward facing pin for rocker. On the figure arch figure, there is a ball joint going down to kind of a ball in the neck. And then there's a ball at the bottom of the neck. But because of the plastic cape, the size of the helmet, not a lot of down. A little bit of up. Tilt. Tilt. Swivel. The shoulder bells are on a hinge. You can bring it out. Bring the arm up. The shoulder's going into a butterfly joint. Ball joint coming out to that to a hinge and swivel at the shoulder. So you can get forward, back, up, down. Swivels around. Swivel at the bicep. Kind of double angle. Kind of double show. Kind of double elbow. But like I said, it it's hard to get it past 90. Swivel at the forearm, and if you put that cut out right at the elbow, that does allow you to get past 90 a little bit. Swivel hinge, swivel at the wrist. You can get up and down. If you take it, turn it, you can get side to side. The torso is kind of crazy. It's got a ball joint going up to a hinge. You can crunch really nicely because it kind of hinges forward. But when you come back up, the back wants to catch. So you got to kind of mess with it, line it back up, bring it back. And because of that gap right there, it looks kind of ugly. You push 
down and it goes back into position. There's also kind of a ball joint at the bottom, so tilt, tilt, back, forward. Hinge and swivel at the hip, like I said, this slips down. You can come forward, back, out all the way. Swivel at that joint. Double knee, but it gets caught on the armor. Hinge at the ankle, goes back, not so much. It kind of runs into it. Forward, there's a hinge for rocker ankle, and then a toe joint that goes up to about right there. For accessories, the Black Series figure comes with a, a standard Stormtrooper rifle, but it has a flashlight on the side. It's casting gray. It has some silver highlight paint weathering on it a little bit, which is a lot more than you could say for the SH Figure Arts blaster. It's just cast in black and uh, that's about it. The sculpts are comparable. I think I actually end up liking the Black Series blaster a little bit more. But because of this extra piece on the side of the blaster, it doesn't go in the holster. So that's kind of useless hanging there. But it slips easily into his hand. The SH Figure Arts figure, besides the blaster, also comes with a kind of a larger blaster rifle. I'm not quite sure of the technical term, but it has the stock. It has kind of a different body to it. On top of that, the SH Figure Arts Mimbin also comes with two fists. He comes with two relaxed hands holding the weight of the weapon hands. And he comes with two pointy slash trigger finger hands. And I haven't had a problem at all snapping these off. Oh. <laughs> that was actually a little bit tight. Putting the other on, it goes right on. There, there's no Darth Maul, Jedi, Luke situation going on here. Now comparing the two figures side by side, you can see that Bandai has made the Stormtrooper just slightly larger than they used to. Still slightly shorter than the Black Series figure, but definitely fits together. But if it bugs you too much, you can take those slide down legs, bring those up, and you can also bring the torso forward and then shift it back again and it gives that a little bit more height. On mine at least, the left stays extended, the right wants to fall back into place. Get it balanced, get it there. What is the deal? You can actually make it just slightly taller than the Black Series, but you have to work at it. That kind of also fixes my gripe with the torso being a little bit short. Still crotchy though, very very crotchy. Here they are with the solo movie Han Solo and all good heights all the way across. Here they are with the Black Series original trilogy Stormtrooper and the Black Series Sand Trooper. And then as always, here they are with Gus. You boys like Tatooine? Woo so at the end of the day, I like both of them. I can't really decide which one I like more. Both have aspects that I like more than the other. For the Black Series, I dig the cloth cape. It gets up out of the way, it's more dynamic, you can pose it, you can put it wherever you want. With the SH Figure Arts, the plastic is just stiff, hard, it's... <laughs> everything I say anymore comes out all sexy. But besides the elbows, the SH Figure Arts articulation beats out the Black Series. It's just more poseable. You can get them into action poses, you can get them knelt down, action, you know. Black Series is a little bit stiff. The detents kind of hinder it in the ankles, but I'd take those elbows and put it over on the SH Figure Arts figure. But then the Black Series figure, I feel like the paint there is more Mud Planet-like. It's kind of nasty, like he's been wading through a sewer, but not swimming in it. So it's only kind of gotten up on the top because of him moving around and such. On the Figure Arts, it doesn't look like mud. It looks like a statue. I worked in a metal shop for 20 years, so I ground a lot of steel a lot of aluminum, a lot of stainless, and this is what tools and tables and you look like after eight hours of grinding steel. Or if you wanted a statue of a Mimbin, you know, this here statue was erected in memoriam for Jedediah T. Rooper. He gave his life so we would have more mud. But with the figure arts, I like the sculpt a little bit more. It's definitely more detailed, and the way they did the paint job brings out the detail. On the Black Series, the mud just covers everything. It's which I would say is more realistic. It's hard to pick out details and stuff because of the gunk. But I like the figure arts helmet kind of stylized look a little bit more. So between the two, I can't pick a favorite. I like each for different reasons. But if you're gonna army build, I'd definitely go with the Walmart exclusive Black Series one. That'd be way cheaper. So maybe I'll grab a couple of Walmarts to flank my SH Figure Arts version. And this isn't the most terrible problem in the world. I'm usually more definitive. I, I can usually, you know, I like that one way more than that one. But not even mentioning the fact that they're both Stormtroopers, which is my favorite ever. I, yeah, get both. Or look at the pictures here and the price points and decide. It, it's up to you. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh. And for those wondering how I got Gus into the land speeder, I had to make an action Gus. Cut the skirt off, I popped the legs out, well, I cut the legs out. The knee on this one actually didn't articulate, so I ended up almost breaking it anyway. If I ever need a Gus to sit in or on anything, 